Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. Elliot. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last <laughs> night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Oh, mm. maybe? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. <laughs> right? That's totally what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, he wasn't thinking about watching it or All anything. Right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I didn't want to watch it and be a normal person or anything. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Oh, okay, that's what get DVD from Steph. That's pretty cool. Like that's how you view your objective and everything. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Buy tickets? No. Let's read this, cause just because it's Chloe. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Watch me be like completely talking about the wrong person this whole time. Like, that's not Chloe. Hey, I'm at the picnic table with Mikey. Thanks, on my way. Little known fact, I didn't know that OMW was on my way until my brother told me that one time. No. The future like, not too long ago. Excellence. The future's an asshole. Jeremiah Blackwell, right up there. And oh my god, not you. Let's speak to you. <gasps> Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, oh no, right. I was right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Oh god. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about yeah. Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do but tell. No. <laughs> we murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really yeah. not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. Hmm. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I like how she doesn't seem... Nah. She doesn't seem like a big Why jackass, too. Why would Rachel too. Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. Oh, no, then, then she like, as soon as I walk away, she's like, yeah, why would she hang out with someone like her? I remember, I did sick freaking. Hey, price check, gotten in any good trouble lately? Crazy house party. Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like. Math Central. My cousin met this guy there. <laughs> Whatever. <and> He's <laughs> cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. 
Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. All right. Crushed it. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. By the way, I suck at math, so I kind of relate with that. And by the way, that is also the same person we saw with, who had like everyone had no face, but he had like the full mustache and everything. I'm pretty sure. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. And she is. Hey. Wait, what is? If I had known the Celestial Avenger is that was that D&D? I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? <laughs> it's part of the tabletop game we play. He wouldn't understand. Yeah, I used to play. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. I never actually saw Blade Runner. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? What? Rachel Amber? You're asking yeah, me? Yeah, why is everyone- Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? We're not friends. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got sure. to do before class? Can I... Yeah, I'll do it. What the hell? Game on, nerds. <laughs> Here's a character sheet. You are an elf, Barbarian. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. <laughs> I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. <laughs> you are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon. Elamon. Wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Oh my god. <laughs> Introduce your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf you let me choose. named... Uh... Calamastia! Calamastia. <laughs> Come on. Super into it. Not bad. <laughs> the two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside? Come on, let's get into it. <clears throat> I once made a man a kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. Huh? True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. This is awesome. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Durgaron. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Durgaron. Dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish Let's to go? go? Uh, training ground, prison camp. Prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping huh. watch. He notices you, 
and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. I could... They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? <laughs> Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Uh. Oh my god, let's, uh, let's intimidate. Intimidate? That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. <clears throat> what do you Use say? Intimidate. Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak oh. common. Which means he can't... Cast communication oh. on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Awesome. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. Right. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, Dragonkin guy want to become my meat puppet how it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head And then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things <laughs> uh, He doesn't seem to like that idea neither do I <laughs> the dragonkin pleads with you Please don't harm me tall one, but I cannot give you key Durgeron much taller and meaner than you You're short, I say, but you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death oh with them. Oh my god. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting oh. him. Oh my god. Then I say the following. This is going to be <laughs> good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag she looks that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever she I go. Looks so terrified. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, <wow. laughs> that was, that was no, awesome. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma go ahead and roll a small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as hands trembling it hands you yeah. the keys. then it dies of fear <laughs> awesome yeah go team why don't you start unlocking the prisoners i'm on it as you free them the prisoners run away from you in fear what's next uh, we could go for the loot. Let's go for the loot. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. <laughs> Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy oh, set Oh god, look at his armor. immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and Oh charge. god, we shouldn't have gone here. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, over <laughs> Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle Oh, wax. man. Holy That's freaking brutal. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavyset orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh, pommel strike. That sounds cool. I do a pommel strike. I strike his hard. Hard. <laughs> um. What did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword. Oh. Move. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with. Hit him in the head with the. Damn it. The butt of okay, the axe. I do that. <laughs> Except you're not wielding a sword. You're wielding. Then let's use an axe. This sucks. It's all right. 
Try using your- You've delayed too long. Oh no! The orc swings his war hammer at your head. Barely missing Shit. your move. <laughs> Shit, I'm an idiot. Cleave! Okay, <clears throat> let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. So, Fuck so yeah. embarrassed I didn't know what a cleave awesome was. At this game. <laughs> it's going well. I mean, what not a cleave, a loot? pummel. Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Uh, you'll pay for this. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't By know it was him. Honor, I apologize. Shit. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. That's candy. I gotta act angry, though. I'm a barbarian. What's next? Let's go to the warlord's it's tent. tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Oh well, my god, look at him. Sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. Oh my god. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Okay. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for clothes. Huh. Calamastia? What'll it be? We gotta hit the bracelet, don't we? Uh. Can I just punch? Hold on. Let's use this. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike! That sounds boss as fuck! <laughs> oh god, a critical fail! <laughs> That's bad, right? Not for oh, me. Oh no! As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble. Oh no. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex Oh save. no. I'm so sorry. Oh I'm no. I'm so sorry. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Save him. Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Save him. Save sort him. Of. What should I do? Jump in. Uh, jump in front. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Save him. Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Why? Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. Hit the bracer. Sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire. Yeah, take it off and then he can use thingy. his fire. Oh. Brilliant! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost <clears throat> Come dead. on. Yeah! 20. Fuck yeah! Natural 20. You bring your axe down <clears throat> in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. <laughs> his bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I may pass. Gignomi's <clears throat> fire strike of flame! Talking on my oh, ass. snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the oh. chest. Oh! Incinerating him completely yeah. from the inside out. 
Damn, Elamon. Kick his ass. Durgron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That's damn right. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious <laughs> drawing skills. Calamastia and Edamon. That's so freaking awesome. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. But yeah. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. But yeah, I said I may be talking up my ass, because I did play a little bit of D&D before. But like, not a whole crap ton to know every little tiny minute detail. <laughs> that was amazing though, holy crap. Just do it again. <laughs> what the hell? Um. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that. Hey. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Yes, I do. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your dad need Oh, dad shit, need again? that's not good. Wow. Yeah. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Um. No, 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 no. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Can I? Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Step in. <clears throat> the only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put <clears throat> Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. I s idiot? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Hmm. Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. <clears throat> That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. <laughs> you're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. Damn right. You want a piece of this? I'll kick your ass. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> <laughs> did you just <clears throat> laugh? I did. Chloe just Damn right. Me. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this inspired. time. inspired. Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Hey. You're welcome. Yeah. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just oh because God. of his family. Here comes a security man. Hello. <clears throat> Everything okay here? Yeah, perfectly fine. <laughs> No problem, Skip. Don't you worry. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh god. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. 
Well, thanks, Ma. You too. I know you're doing your best, <laughs> I guess. Um. Oh, good. You're here. Um. For what? She looked like she was dressed in, like, stuff for theater, so is that what she's getting me here for? <clears throat> I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Hmm. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Shit. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. <laughs> no, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, <laughs> and to your other fellow <clears throat> actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Hmm. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. Goodlier? I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. And okay, that's why she brought me here. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? <clears throat> I think she's an idiot. <laughs> Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. That's n <laughs> what okay, is that's, she? that's not what well, I thought. <laughs> actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Huh. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here? My again? thoughts exactly. Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable. Right? There's a pencil jar, a computer. Oh, I don't want to use the computer, do I? I think this is the right bag. I'm just gonna go rooting around in someone's random bag. Rachel looks so happy here. Hmm. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Gosh. Does this say flat? RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Oh my god. Because they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, I can comment? I'm doing it. No one look. What to say? What to say? Bitter much? Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Wait, VC's. Oh, I know who that is. That's Victoria. And dude, there's a freaking sword there, and it's amazing. Times are hard for elite private high schools. <laughs> oh, costumes. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's... Uh, oh. Rachel? 
Is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Throw the belt over. Don't 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 go into privacy. <laughs> Here you go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> they attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to invade your privacy over there. You did say bring me the belt. I'll bring it to Chloe you. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Firewalk. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. Hmm. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Has Rachel Lampo gone rogue? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? <laughs> no, it's awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. Boom, let's do it. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? <laughs> jumping on... jumping a train. I've heard a lot about people jumping trains, but I've never done it ever in my life. So this is interesting. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Um. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Yeah, I'll give it that. You are right about that. Holy crap. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. <laughs> 